What's going on guys and gals of YouTube? It's Anthony of the Primal Crew and I'm here today with our first official episode of our Pokemon Blue Randomizer Nuzlocke Let's Play. In the very first episode, or in the zero episode, so to speak, <coughs> we, or rather you, were given the option on who our starter choice would be. Between the starters of the sleeping Pokemon Snorlax, I hate the fact that I'm loved, that I'm speeding up as much as I am. Arcanine, the legendary Pokemon, or Kangaskhan, the parent Pokemon. Before I give you guys the result, if you guys are hyped for today's episode and you guys are proud members of the Primal Crew, make sure you smash that like button down below, show your support for the channel. And if you haven't already, do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more great TCG Let's Play and other random videos. And again, I don't think I've ever mentioned this in any other video other than this one and maybe one other video. But do not forget to tap the little bell on your YouTube app, or if you're on desktop, right next to my little subscription button, so that way you never miss an upload. Uh, so, there wasn't too many votes, but our starter choice is going to be the one that you see on your screen right now, the parent Pokemon, Kangaskhan. And we are going to nickname this thing in just a second. Now, I know there is a nickname that I wanted to use originally, but I can't because there's no numbers. So we are going to go oops, with Preggers, because most Kangaskhan's are girls. And Jers is going to pick the Snorlax, but it's not going to be a Snorlax. Alright, so before we move on, put that on fast. Take a look at our Pokemon right here. Not very fast. I mean, I'm sorry. Not too good in the special department, but it's got attack and defense and speed. Uh, it's got egg... Self-destruct. Why do you have self-destruct? <sighs> egg bomb, waterfall, inside beam. Because so, self-destruct will never be used. And this is the point of the game where... Wait, Diesel! Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Yeah, we'll, we'll see about that, boy. All right, Jers wants to fight. All right, you. Okay. Uh, can I put this all the way at the bottom? Yes, I can. Let's go for the egg bomb. No, no, no smoke screens, you piece of shit. Oh, don't start missing. Okay, so now we're blind and we're paralyzed and we get fully paralyzed. Great. Hit an egg bomb. Don't bite me. <sighs> Come on. We're already off to a great start here. I mean, we don't need to necessarily win this fight. But, you know, it would be nice. And we missed. Uh, we have the one potion that we took out of the PC. And he hits me with a critical hit. Thank you. And another critical hit. And I'm fully paralyzed. And... We can't get started. Technically, again, this is not a required fight that we have to win. But I do think... That does actually cut our money in half. Actually, no, our money stays the same. So normally, for Nuzlocke rules... Um... If we lose a fight, or if we lose our Pokemon faints, then that Pokemon is considered dead. But because we do not have Pokeballs yet, it is not counted. So, until we actually get Pokeballs in our inventory, our Pokemon, uh, you know, stays the same. And that goes for encounters, too, because we're about to... We have to head up to Viridian City, and we have to pick up Oak's, quote-unquote, parcel. You know, his drugs. Uh, so, yeah, none of these, you know, future encounters count until we actually have Pokeballs in our party. I'm sorry, in our uh, inventory. We got another free potion, which is good. So let us continue forth. So yes, uh, for those of you, again, that do not know what Nuzlocke rules are, uh, as we're doing this whole little side mission, I will go over the rules for you one more time. Uh, I've already gone over rule number one. If your Pokemon faints as a result of battle or status infliction, your Pokemon is considered dead. It is no longer allowed to be used. It must be put into a box, never to be used again, or it must be released into the wild. Uh, 
Second rule. Uh, you are only allowed to catch the first Pokemon that you see in a route. So when we have Pokeballs, again, I can't not stress that enough. When we have Pokeballs, the first Pokemon that we see is our first encounter. However, there is a little caveat to that rule. If we go into this first route and we encounter, let's just say, a Kangaskhan because that's what we have in our party, uh, we can re-encounter because that is considered Dupes Claws. It also goes for Species Claws. Say if we have a Poliwhirl and we encounter a Poliwag. That is considered Species. <coughs> and we can re-encounter. As we deliver his drugs. Um, so yes, uh... If you fail to catch your first encounter in a route, then you <laughs> no longer allow are allowed to catch anything in that route. Uh, one big rule that I am implementing into this, especially because this is Generation 1, is I am implementing the rule of legendaries. So, what is the rule of legendaries? Pretty much, if I encounter a legendary from now until... I'll say the second gym badge. By the time we get the second gym badge, if I encounter a legendary from now until then, I have the option to not catch it. And the reason being is, anytime you chuck a ball at a legendary, it won't catch it. It'll just pop out saying, oh, you, or the ball will just pop saying, you missed the Pokemon. So, it's not worth it, to be completely fair. So, I have that option. Uh, third option, and of course this is probably one of the most important ones that some people do forget. Nickname your Pokemon, because your Pokemon are your friends, they're your buddies, they're your pals, and they need love too. So, again, we still have not gotten Pokeballs, and I can verify that by going into my items. We have one potion and a town map, which I'm putting the town map on top. So that way we know where we are with the route. So, again, like I said, because we are encountering a Pokemon here... And it's a Nidoran female. It doesn't count towards our, you know, our encounter rate. Because we have no Pokeballs. But, once we get back up to Viridian City over here... Ooh, a Tentacruel. I feel like Psybeam can actually do some damage to this thing. Um, oh, he used... Yeah, that's going to be some good, good experience there. Um... Once we buy the Pokeballs from this Pokemart, the Nuzlocke will begin, and we have to be very, very careful. Which means every encounter, every catch is important that we need to, to be very, 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 very careful of. So let us go in here and purchase our Pokeballs. They don't sell potions, though, so that's kind of a downside. So for Pokeballs, I usually do a standard 10. Antidotes, I'll buy two. Uh, Paralyze heals, two. And burn heals, I'll buy one. You want to try, in the early games, if I could suggest anything, buy, you know, at least one of everything, because you never know what kind of status inflictions you're going to get, especially in Nuzlocke's, because you never know what you're going to encounter. But now that we have purchased Pokeballs, our Nuzlocke rules are in action, and we need to be careful. But I'm coming up here to find a <laughs> secret super potion. Normally, I think that's supposed to be a potion or a Pokeball. So, you know, finding a regular po uh, a super potion this early in the game is going to be very, very, very good to us. Uh, but we are going to come back down here to Route 1. I believe it's Route 1. Yeah, Route 1. And we are going to get our first encounter of this game. So our first encounter of our blue Nuzlocke will be... <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. A Bulbasaur. I like it. Uh, Waterfall shouldn't do too much. I mean, it's resisted. Let's see how much that does. That was a crit. Oh, it's already got Razor Leaf? That's cool. Whoa! Okay, let's just try and chuck a Pokeball at this thing. We got one. Oh. He missed. Let's waterfall it again. Okay. No! And I can't do anything because I have no awakenings. Alright, stay in the ball, Bulbasaur. One. Two. Ah. Oh. I'm already asleep. 
Jackass. They really put me to sleep again. Oh, it's because he's using absorb or something. You dirty, dirty man. All right, we're gonna we're gonna catch this thing because I can't really attack it too much more because it won't budge. Yes, got ourselves a Bulbasaur. All right, the seed Pokemon. A strange seed was planted on its back at birth. The plant sprouts and grows with this Pokemon. Uh, hmm. Uh, huh. Oh, I know of a name. It's one that I've named, uh, some of Venusaur's in the past. Tree Frog! Nice. What do we got? Great special attack. Sleep Powder, Growl, Absorb, and Razor Leaf. That is going to be great for us. Oh, man. All right. I'm going to try and leave speeding up to a minimum when it comes to, you know, playing around here because I don't I don't want to speed up the entire game. Uh, but for like long dialogue that, you know, doesn't go really go anywhere. Oh. Before we do that, we are in route 22. Uh, yeah, so any any long dialogue or like any long steps, I'm going to, you know, keep that to a minimum with the speed up button. Holy shit! Okay! Uh... It's got rage. That's kind of funny, actually. Let's see how much that does. That was a crit. Well, let's try and chuck a Pokeball at it. Do the old down B technique. Technique! Yes! First ball, Doug Trio! The mole Pokemon, a team of Diglett trip, a team of Diglett trip triplets. It tr it triggers huge earthquakes by burrowing 60 miles underground. Wow. Oh, and I've got the perfect name for it. Wait, can I do this? Let's see. Oh, it'll just fit. Oh, baby. We got Bo Bob Jim. Because he's going to fuck him up. <laughs> That's awesome. Fantastic. He's always been a speedy Pokemon, but if you look at his defense, it's... <laughs> Bone Meringue Fissure? Oh, that's going to be great, too, because he's a fast little, you know, thing. Now, see, I sped up there. Because otherwise it would have taken no, like no time at all. And here I will speed up. See? No time wasted. And going up here. We are now in route number two, guys. We are we're just we're building our team. Alright, route number two. What can we get? What can we get for route number two? We're just getting encounters left and right here, people. Left it Ooh. Oh, I already have a grass type though. Uh, waterfall it. How much is that gonna do? That's why is it always a crit? He took it in sunlight. Catch this motherfucker! Come on, stay in the. Ah, uh, no! He's so being me no! Well, I actually did a lot. Not gonna lie. Come on, stand the ball, stand the ball, yes! We got an Oddish. The weed Pokemon. During the day, it keeps its face buried in the ground. At night, it wanders around stow or sowing its seeds. I don't know if that's supposed to be sowing its seeds. Anyways, there's only one name that you can name an Oddish. 
that it will eventually be a vile plume, and that's nupped up. So all we saw so far was yeah, see my basic stats for it. Thunder, thunder wave, thunder wave absorbs sing and solar beam. That's a weird move set. Huh. And huh. too far. <laughs> so Nuptup we might actually have to keep in the box, but for now we're just gonna hold on to him. I think after our last encounter here, we're going to probably call it a day. And in the next episode, we'll probably open it up with a grinding montage, just to be fair. Some dude's being a douche. Alright, so we're in the Viridian Forest. Okay, we find a Polka Doll. Polka Doll's eh, kind of useless, in a sense. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Okay, what do we get for Viridian Forest? Viridian Forest. We can move around. Come on. Can we find something in Viridian Forest? I'm pretty sure we could. There we go. What do we get for Viridian Forest? Holy shit! Okay. Okay, that's a thing. Oh, no, wait. No, 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 no. I'm not staying in here with you. Uh, let me switch because he's got fighting moves and Preggers is normal. Oh, he's also... He's also got Sludge for some reason. Let me put you to sleep. Jump kick, really? Whoa. Go to sleep, boy. Let me get some of my, uh... Give me some of my energy back, son. It's not gonna be much, but I'll take it. One. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you with a razor leaf. Let's see how much a razor leaf does. Please don't kill him. Please don't kill him, tree frog. Would appreciate it if you don't. Uh, I think now is about any good time to... Toss a Pokeball and just hope for the best. One, two, woohoo! Yeah! We got him a champ! The Super Power Pokemon. Using its heavy muscles, it throws powerful punches that can send the victim clear over the horizon. Wow. Uh, what do I name him a champ? I mean, there really is only one other name, and I'm not gonna put I'm not gonna put the meme in here, but it just makes sense. John Cena the Machamp. Oh, he's already got 16 attack. High jump kick, counter, sludge, and excuse me, jump kick. Jesus Christ, that's a move set. All right, let's get all these guys healed up, and let's end this the way that it should be ended. So I want to thank you guys for coming out and checking out today's episode. If you guys have enjoyed yourself, please make sure that you smash the like button down below. It would be dearly appreciated if you could comment down below on what your favorite part is. And above all else, do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more great TCG Let's Play and other random videos. And do not forget to tap the little bell on your YouTube app, letting me know what you guys think. Or no, excuse me, the bell is to let me know. Or let you know when I upload. See, I'm not used to saying the whole bell thing. Uh, but thank you guys again for coming out and checking out today's video. I have been Anthony. You guys have been the best part of the Primal Crew. And I will catch you guys next time. And as always, thank you all so much for your support. And take it easy.